Every garden should have at least one tree. They add height and structure, give welcome shade, screen neighboring buildings, provide food and habitat for wildlife, and of course, add beauty. The ornamental trees grown in gardens are generally smaller than woodland trees. They are chiefly chosen for their especially attractive features, such as pretty spring blossom, beautiful autumn foliage, attractive bark or berries, or edible fruits, and often, a combination of these. They change with the seasons and bringing you closer to nature. There is an ornamental tree to suit every garden, including trees for small gardens. Some, including dwarf fruit trees that make great trees for pots. Others make excellent screening trees and giving welcome privacy. Number 1. Japanese Maple Japanese maples or Acer pomatum make an excellent focal point in the garden, particularly in autumn when their leaves turn breathtaking shades of red, crimson, orange, or yellow. There are hundreds of varieties to choose from, including favorite Acer pomatum orange dream, and many Acers are slow growing and compact. Grow them as a freestanding specimen, as a part of a border, or in a large container, in a sheltered position. Choose the best tree you can afford with an attractive shape. Number 2. Amelanchier. Amelanchier lamarcae, also known as snowy mespolis or juniberry, gives interest over three seasons. It has pretty blossom in spring, loved by bees and other pollinators, berries in summer, popular with birds, and fiery foliage in autumn. Amelanchier trees are often described as the ultimate tree for a small garden. Look out for multi-stemmed specimens, which give the tree a beautiful shape, which is especially appreciated in winter. Grow as a small specimen tree in the lawn, or in a mixed border, in sun or partial shade. Number 3. Black Elder or Sambucus nigra Black Elder is a large shrub or a small tree with pretty, pale pink lace-cap flowers in early summer, stunning finely cut purple-black foliage and small, dark berries in autumn. This tree is not only attractive, but productive, too. You can make elderflower cordial from the flowers and elderflower syrup or wine from the berries, which are high in vitamin C. Elder is also a good tree for attracting wildlife. The flowers provide nectar for insects and the berries provide food for birds. It's suitable for small gardens, as it can be cut back in winter to keep it to the desired size. Number 4. Crabapple. Crab apples are brilliant garden trees, attractive, productive, and good for wildlife. They look good almost all year round, bearing masses of pretty blossom in spring, small red or yellow fruits in summer through to winter, and good autumn color. Crab apples are terrific for attracting wildlife. The flowers are a good source of early pollen and nectar for insects, especially bees, while birds, including the song thrush and blackbird, enjoy the fruits. Crab apples are edible and can also be made into jams, jellies, or cider. Crab apples are also quite compact in size, and some have an upright or columnar habit, making them a good choice for smaller spaces. Grow in moist, well-drained soil in sun or part shade. Crab apples are good pollinators for apple trees too. Number 5. Dogwood. Native to Japan and Korea, Cornus kusa, or Japanese dogwood, is a large shrub or a small tree with two seasons of interest. In early summer, it is covered in stunning white bracts. The tiny flowers are in the center, followed by stunning foliage in autumn when the leaves turn bronze and crimson. In a good year, the tree may also bear strawberry-like pink fruits in autumn too. Grow Cornus kusa in rich soil, in full sun to partial shade. Number 6. Hawthorn. Hawthorn, or May, Cratigus, is a British native. In spring, it is smothered in tiny blossoms in shades of white or pale or dark pink. These are followed by masses of brightly colored haws or fruits. Many varieties also offer good autumn color too. Hawthorns are fantastic for wildlife. They can support 300 varieties of insect, 
including bees, which are attracted to the nectar and pollen in the flowers. The haws are attractive to migrating birds, including redwings. Hawthorns are tough trees that are useful for difficult sites. They will grow in most soils, in sun or partial shade. Number 8. Lilac Lilacs are beautiful shrubs or small trees that are garden classics, flowering in late spring. The purple, pink, or white flowers are great for cutting and have a strong scent. Lilacs thrive in a sunny location, in well-drained, fertile, humus-rich soil that is alkaline to neutral. They do well on chalky soils. The smaller varieties can be grown in pots. Number 9. Magnolia Magnolias are grown for their stunning tulip or star-shaped flowers in a range of colors from white to pink and deep magenta. Most flower in spring, but some bloom in summer. Magnolias can be deciduous or evergreen and range in size from small shrubs to large trees, so be sure to check a plant's ultimate size before buying. Most prefer neutral or acidic soil, but if you don't have this, the smaller varieties grow well in pots. Magnolias do best in a sunny, sheltered spot away from frost pockets. Number 10. Paperbark Maple Paperbark maple, or Acer griseum, is a slow-growing, spreading tree with dark red or chestnut bark, which flakes and peels back to reveal new, smooth orange-red bark beneath. Its dark green leaves turn deep crimson or red in autumn. The paperbark maple is perfect for growing as a small specimen tree in a mixed border or as a standalone specimen, where its beauty can be fully appreciated. Grow Acer griseum in moist, but well-drained soil in sun to partial shade. Well, that's all for today's video, guys. If you like this video, don't forget to click the like and subscribe button for supports our channel. Also, you can turn on the notification bell for latest videos from us. Well, see you in the next interesting topics.